All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Wadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule well and teach well, and who have learned this truth from through the power and spirit of Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. Peace and salutations unto all you oxen, you brothers preaching this word in truth and in sincerity across the four corners of the earth. And Shalom to the hopeful elect, you sincere believers. Scattered wherever you may be, Shalom. Uh, so the title of this one, uh, Lord willing, will be have discipline over your tongue. Have rule over your mouth. Okay. Because uh, we know the times that we're in right now, it's a very um, sensitive world that we live in. To where now everything is... Uh, uh, <laughs> You know, they got the cancel culture and all this bullshit. It's sensitive. It's a rated G ass place. All right, and essentially, we just have to be mindful of what we say and how we say things. Don't get me wrong. Still speaking the truth. All right. But let it be mingled with salt. And let us use our tongue with wisdom. Right. Not uh, um, giving our pearls unto the swine. Being mindful. <laughs> Again, of, of what we say, throwing out the, the little gems here and there. Uh, but again, there's a time and place for everything. All right, it's just using wisdom. And we have to pray to the Lord, you know, for this. Having discipline over our tongue. Um, you know, the way we carry ourselves. The way we communicate, period, amongst the acumen, and even to people in your everyday walk. All right, walking as princes of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. All right, because now is not the time where we want the ministry to be blamed. You know, you see these other camps and, and their actions, what they're doing uh, to bring on the uh, the blame, the shame unto the Israelite community, which is prophecy. These things must happen. Um, you know what I'm saying? But we don't and <laughs> we don't want to be tied uh, uh, to that, to that fuckery, man, for lack of better words, right? We're, we're bigger than that. We're smarter than that. We're wiser than this. Okay. And, uh, so Lord willing, this should be edifying and exhorting. Um, so the first scripture I had, uh, was Proverbs 18 and 21. And we'll just, we'll just go through the spirit. Cause it's kind of some loose. I wanted to go into, uh, Loose meaning like uh, broad, right? Because having discipline over your tongue, it, it, it's broad, <laughs> you know? And so I'm going to just read it, Salakia, not to ramble. This is Proverbs 18 and 21. It says, death and life are in the power of the tongue, right? So however you may use it, because look, when you, when you say something, it holds weight. And we have to be mindful of that as well. Speaking first and foremost to myself, you're, you're pushing that energy out that vibration out and we know you know what i'm saying uh what we say you know leads to action it may lead to action so these people you know that are uh, um <laughs> you know even in speaking the truth man that's why hey when we speak this truth there's there's nothing that nobody could gainsay or resist about it because it's the truth you know we will be justified speaking the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Right? Whether they hear or whether they forbear, it cuts it cuts to the core. It says, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. So in the NLT it says the tongue can bring death or life. Right? Look at Esau Eden, for example. <laughs> you know, all through their through their lies, through their blasphemy. Right? It's, it's bringing on death. Those that uh, say, uh, uh, um, you know, basically to, to hell with the most high or that they don't believe in the Lord, it brings on death. But to us speaking the words of truth, it brings on life. It says those who love to talk will reap the consequences. OK. And they'll be uh, uh, they'll be held accountable for that. Right. Scriptures say uh, every word. Let me just grab that every I think it's a uh damn look i didn't want this but it's a spirit 
When we speak the words of truth, Proverbs 30 and 5, every word of the Most High is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. So even in us praying, right, it brings on life. <laughs> the words of our mouth, right? Um, but this is the one I wanted, Matthew 12 and 36. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Okay, because it's recorded. All right. And you have to answer for it. But, um. Okay, from there, let me go to uh, Ecclesiasticus 23 and verse 7. And Lord willing, this will all come together. Um, damn, I wanted to hold this. I might just take a screenshot. Maybe we'll come back. Uh, uh, Ecclesiasticus 23 and verse 7. Okay, this is uh, Ecclesiasticus 23 verse 7. It says, Hear, O ye children, and who are the ones uh, that are being referred to right here? The Israelites. You know, as the Lord always speaks unto his children, right? The children of the Most High, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, as well as the speckled bird. It says, Hear, O ye children, the discipline of the mouth. He that keepeth it shall never be taken in his lips. Okay. It says, the sinner shall be left in his foolishness. And what do the scriptures also say? Um, even a fool, uh, loosely paraphrasing, that, that doesn't speak is counted as wise. You know, it's something we need to apply to our everyday life, speaking first and foremost to myself. Just speaking less. Right? And then being a, um, a hidden book. A hidden book, being a mystery. Being someone who, who, uh, you know, can be read, you know, off the surface, they have to dig deep, <laughs> you know, and in that you'll be, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You'll be less susceptible, um, to be blamed, if that makes sense. You know, now is not too much ammunition that a person could use against you if you don't say anything. You know? Just like when a, um, uh, 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 when a person gets caught up with 12 with the police, you know, essentially you get a, you get a person to talk themselves, talk, uh, uh, um, talk too much, they incriminate themselves. Because what? They didn't have rule over their mouth. They didn't have discipline over their mouth. Okay? It says, The sinner shall be left in his foolishness. Both the evil speaker and the proud shall fall thereby through their words, through their blasphemies. Just how Esau Edom is speaking blasphemies against the Most High and his children. You know, saying that they don't need the Lord, that they could achieve uh, um, immortality. They don't need a weight on um, Yahweh Shai. <laughs> They're going to fall thereby. It says, accustom not thy mouth to swearing. You know, as, as Yahweh Shai said, let our yea be yea and let our nay be nay. Neither swear. Uh, um, let me just grab that, actually. I don't want to butcher it. Uh, yay. Right, because in, in doing so, golly, hold on. <sighs> Salakia. The damn blue letter sometimes, man, doesn't. Like, you have to get it on point. Um, yep, Matthew 5 and 37. It reads. I'll start at verse 36, Matthew 5 and 36. Neither shalt thou swear by thy head, because thou canst not make one hair white or black. But let your communication be yea, yea, nay, nay. For whatsoever is more than these cometh of evil. Okay. I'm going to get the word communication here. It says of speech, a word uttered by a living voice embodies a conception or idea. Um, what someone has said 
discourse, the act of speaking, speech, um, doctrine, teaching, reason, the mental faculty of thinking, meditating, reasoning, calculating. And this is what we have to do, basically. And this is something that uh, I was brought upon in school. <laughs> and... You know, something we could exercise more just being now being grown. But looking back, we learned this probably first, first, second grade is uh, thinking before we speak. Calculating before we speak, because it's a it's a trickle effect on, on your words. It's a domino effect. You know, words cut. They do. People say that that uh, what they say. uh Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Something like that. Some bullshit. Hey, words do hurt. I don't give a fuck what people, what people think. They hurt. Hey, the, the word of the Lord is the, is the most, uh, uh, it's sharp, sharper than any two-edged sword. Even piercing the soul, loosely paraphrased. It cuts deep. Okay? And it brings your evil deeds to light. So even in the words that you're speaking, they hold weight, man. And we have to, to reason meditate before we think all right because then it, it our words could come back and bite us in the ass they can all right that's why it, that's why the lord told us let our yay be yay and our nay be nay because now if you're if you're swearing on if you're swearing on it and you don't do it now you're going to be looked like a uh like a hypocrite you will be a hypocrite you said one thing you did the other it's so important for us to stand upon our words and what we say you know, we don't want to be found as hypocrites. And, uh, you know, we don't want to be falling short of vows. That's why it's best to not make a vow. <laughs> but if you do it, uh, now you got to come through with it. Okay. Um, so that that's basically it there. And then also uh, another thing that I had pondered on um. Like the like the uh, the scriptures, like the world says, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. <laughs> all right. And some uh, um, a Chicago brother had said, basically, if a brother isn't going off, shut the fuck up. OK, because every spirit is different. If that brother likes doing something and and, uh, uh, um, you know, it doesn't sit well with you, so be it. Fuck if he's not going off. What's it to you? Okay, just because you don't like the thing, and he does, so what? All right, it's, it's opinions. 